Hi, my name is Ola Duminuko, and today I will show you how to edit your portraits. Before you even start thinking about editing your image, you need to make sure that your subject's eyes are in sharp focus. This is the most important thing in portrait photography. Let me tell you something. If you see a portrait and you notice that the image, sorry, that the eyes are not in focus, you may think that the image does not look very professional and you may lose an interest in it. So as long as the eyes are in the frame and they are looking somewhere where the camera can, can see the iris, you want to make sure that the iris is in focus. But if your model turns the head or looks down, you want the eyelashes to be focused. I use Lightroom for photo editing and sometimes I will go and use Photoshop for more complex uh, cases. <laughs> so first, I will always check if my image is sharp. If it's not, I just throw it out from the catalog. I don't keep it in there. I don't want it to be a distraction. Okay, so I am checking if my images are sharp. Next, I will check if the image needs cropping and if the exposure is correct. I choose the exposure that I need and I proceed to do skin editing. In this video, I will talk about a basic and fast, more so, uh, way of editing portraits. If you are interested in seeing more than just basic editing, make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will be posting new videos every week, every two weeks, but more so every week. <laughs> Also, don't forget to like this video to encourage me to post more. I usually remove blemishes and bigger spots only. Never ever do I touch um, moles, beauty marks, freckles, scars, or whatever that's permanent, like tattoos, like that's just a no-no, okay? I will only remove scars and permanent stuff if I am told to do so by the client. So I am going to grab a spot removal tool and start removing the areas that I do not want to be in my picture. Okay, I am going to grab my brush tool and decrease the clarity a little bit. With these settings, I am going to paint over the face, avoiding the eyes, lips, nostrils, eyebrows, eyelashes. <laughs> I am going to paint over. This is gonna make the skin look softer. And of course, this is just a quick technique. If I want to do more of the de detailed job or better quality editing, I would go to Photoshop and do frequency separation. If you are not familiar with frequency separation, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I will be definitely making a video about that. Now it's time to take care of the eyes. Again, with the brush tool, I increase the clarity just a little bit along with the texture and exposure. I am going to paint over the iris only. Then I will clear my brush settings increase texture only and paint over the eyelashes. I don't know if that's what uh, everybody's doing, but I am and it's been working very fine for me. Um, I guess that's just the style I do. I, I like the eyelashes to be in focus along with the iris. I think this is, just looks sharper. It makes the image look sharper. Um, okay. I also want to do some exposure adjustments, so I will get the radial filter, reduce exposure and darken the background. This way the model pops out more. Don't forget about the skin tone. There's nothing worse than a beautifully taken picture with greenish skin tone. Uh -uh. So to do so, let's get the white balance selector and choose an area from the image that's supposed to be grey. Um, you can also try getting the color from the uh, white part from the eyes. You may be lucky, but it doesn't uh, always work very well. It's a good idea to always have your gray card with you. And it's funny that I say it because I always remember to pack my gray card to my camera bag. But whenever the photoshoot actually happens, I always, always, always forget to take my gray card out and take a photo with my model and the grey card. So then I come home, I open my computer and I see that there's no grey card image and I need to figure that on my own. Um, I also like to play with the split toning to give the image a more of unique look. Let's try some more pictures, shall we? Okay, so let me show you how I would go about this image. So first of all, in this case, because um, I think the colors 
right off, I would go and check the white balance. So now it's supposed to be correct. Now I think the exposure is right and I'm going to go and remove the blemishes. Alright, so now I'm gonna get my adjustment brush and click on FX twice so it's gonna reset everything and decrease my clarity just a tiny bit. And with these settings I am going to go and paint over the face. Just like I did with the other image. And because I can't see anything, I am going to click on uh, mask, show mask overlay. I'm not gonna be worrying about going over the edges because I am going to sort it out after. So now I'm going to press and hold ALT key and remove the excess. Okay, so I'm not going to paint over other parts of the body because they are already out of focus. So I'm going to get my adjustment brush one more time, click on FX twice and then increase exposure just a little bit because the eyes are already nicely lit i'm going to increase texture clarity and saturation and with the settings i'm going to paint over the iris okay and the other eye nice okay click on done again adjustment brush effect twice and I'm gonna increase texture and clarity a little bit and paint over the eyelashes. And you can see how sharp they start to look like. And this is the reason why I always, always do it, to add more sharpness to the eyes. So this is um, before and after. Let's go and see the eyes closer so you can see how, how much sharper they are. And I love it. Um, I also think I can do some contouring. So I'm gonna get the adjustment brush one more time and decrease the exposure a little bit. And with these settings, I can paint over um, the shadowed areas on the face. And this already looks great. I could also give you an alternative um, and darken the background to the complete blackness, which I like. I actually like both edits. So let me show you how it would look like with a completely dark background. So to make the background completely dark, I need to um, click on this triangle here to show shadow clipping and decrease my exposure and blacks. And now I can paint over um, the background and everything that's completely black, it's glowing blue. So I know that anything I paint is completely black. It also helps to turn on the auto mask so we don't paint over the skin too much. And now I could um, remove all the mask, get new brush, clear it and decrease blacks and shadows only and paint over the edges here. Okay, of course this is like uh, quickly done and normally I would pay more attention um, to what I'm doing. I just wanted to show you um, that you also can do stuff like this and and looks really cool Okay, so this is how I usually go about editing my images All right, so this is how you do a basic portrait editing as you can see It's pretty easy and pretty straightforward and I think almost 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 everybody can do it So please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more photography and editing tips. Cheers mm -hmm.